probably the number one biggest thing I see people do in adding to their dog's behavioral issue um, is praising them for it. We inadvertently do it. So for everything from a severe aggression cases to severe fear and everything in between, anything that your dog does that you talk nicely to them, trying to calm them down um, or pet them for, you are reinforcing that behavior and that's why it continues to get worse. So a couple examples, aggression. I have dogs walk in, lunging, growling, snarling at me, trying to drag their owners over to maul me. And then what's the owner do? Oh, calm down, they're petting them. That's just Brian, he's okay. What are you telling your dog? What do we tell our dogs when we pet them and talk nicely to them? Your dog does not understand what calm down means like a young child would. Um, a young child, you would explain to them, oh, that's just thunder outside. You don't have to be afraid of that. It's just a natural thing and it can't hurt you. A dog, you'll never explain thunder. Dog runs to you, shaking underneath you, and what do you do? You pet him when he's in that state of mind. Um, all you're doing is telling the dog it's doing the proper behavior at the time. Um, it's, it's, it's really that simple. Dogs are not people. You will never explain to them what calm down means, what thunder means, or, or things that they're not really, you're just never gonna explain that stuff to them. Um, so petting dogs or talking nicely to, it doesn't matter what you're saying, um, the dog does not understand. What needs to happen when a dog is, is in those uh, state of minds, be it, be it aggression, fear, or anything in between that you don't like, just straight whining. What do you do when the dog whines? You pet him, you give him food. Oh, you're hungry. Oh, what happens? The dog continues to whine. What do the people do? Now they're complaining. My dog whines all the time. Well, you're reinforcing that behavior. You're teaching the dog that whining gets me something. Um, so that's the proper thing to do when I want something. So. Uh, what to do, your dog, thunder outside, your dog runs to you shaking. Do not pet them, at the very least, say nothing, ignore them, nothing's wrong. I wouldn't be sitting here all calm as your owner and your, your leader if, if I thought anything was wrong with that noise, right? Um, it's just, just something to ignore. Um, or give the dog something else to do. Make it hold a sit, make it do it down, do some puppy push-ups, work on the obedience during those kind of distractions. Work the dog through it, they take their dog off, their mind off of it. Dogs are only, dogs are one-track minded. Dogs don't worry about, oh, tomorrow I have a meeting with my boss and then my, you know, my in-laws are coming over. Dogs go, squirrel. So it's, it's one track. So take the dog's mind off of whatever its issue is, be it fear or aggressive um, tendencies, um, and give them something else to do for a couple seconds and you'll see they totally switch off of that and they're back on to whatever you're telling them to do. Holding that sit, holding that down, doing some puppy push-ups, walking in a heel, coming back to you. Show up and the dog's extremely fearful, it won't come through the doorway. Oh, come on, buddy, it's okay, you'll do it. The dog doesn't understand what that means is the bottom line. So again, you'll do that with a child because you'll be able to explain it to them, but you cannot explain that kind of stuff to a dog. The dog, just walk the dog through. Just bring the dog through the door, dragging if necessary. Again, it's not being harsh with the dog. He's gonna start moving once you start pulling. Show him, look, I wouldn't take you through this door if there was anything bad going on. But what you really wanna do is repeat it right then. Walk back out the door, back in, back out, back in. If it takes you 20 times of doing that in the, in the course of a minute, do it. The dog's probably not gonna have any issues after you pull them through a couple times. Um, so again, bottom line is don't show them that you're hesitating, just take them through it. Um, again, if the dog's lunging and growling at people, you need to get baseline control of the dog. If the dog's extremely fearful of people and it won't even take a treat from new people, you need to get baseline control. That's the intent of our obedience, is to get that baseline control so the dog's not trying to run away from everything or run towards it. So again, either one isn't, isn't acceptable uh, in human society, right? Um, and then you're able to work on that behavior. If you can get the dog to stay there while that new person stands next to you and not try to bite them or run from them, so depending on whatever your dog's particular issue is, then we're able to work on the behavior. So baseline control, that's the intent of, of our basic obedience and our board and train program. Um, yes, we work on and we talk about um, working on those behavior issues in all of those programs. Um, but that's not the main intent of them. Again, if your dog will not listen to you when that distraction or issue is going on, it needs to listen to you before you can really address it. So step one, baseline obedience. Step two, fix behavioral issue. Um, the longer you let the behavior issue go on, the harder it is to fix. So once you see a behavioral issue, or preemptively while the dog's still very young and doesn't have behavior issues, 
get that baseline control, and then we'll work on the behavioral issue. Um, but praising, be very careful. It's human nature to praise the dog um, inadvertently for negative behaviors that we don't like. Um, so be careful what you're saying to the dog um, when they're doing anything that you don't like. He could be whining or barking instead of extreme fear or aggression. Um, so again, it's not always the thing that we really think of, um, but be aware when you're petting the dog or telling them to calm down about something that they don't, that they're actually doing something you want them to do. Your dog sits, good boy, that's when you're petting them. Um, good girl, that's when you're petting them. Not your dog is, is, is growling at some child for no apparent reason, you're telling him calm down, that's just a kid never going to explain that to the dog what calm down means so um, don't pet them don't talk to them nicely don't talk to them at all so I'm not telling everybody to scream at your dog I'm telling you not to talk to them at all because if they don't understand what you're telling them they're basically hearing oh good dog good dog so don't talk to your dog um, at all or give them something else to do but if you can't give them something else to do because they don't listen to you when you say anything when they're in that state of mind then get some obedience training um, so you can actually address that behavior. Thanks.